Open. Drew Felios with Ryan Dewigin. Game one, time It's been a fun day, an eventful zero. day. Women's singles for the first time. Here we go. Point. Schaefer strikes first. Katerina hailing from Honolulu, Hawaii. So One shout zero. out to, to Jame and all the, the singles players residing in Hawaii. It seems to be a pretty good recipe right now. katerina has got the uh, Salome type wrist Two zero. wrist protection and sweat sweat equipment. Dominic Schaefer able to find that open court, pump the fist. So big stories on the women's side and singles, of course, Annalie Waters taking a bit of a break after her 100th gold medal last week in North Carolina. Schaefer putting on the pressure here. Well good, good battle from both of these Ladies right there. Dominique's compact kind of two-handed backhand really. Two-handed backhand from Dominique is a real weapon. Hitting off her back foot from the baseline, getting that to fall it down at the kitchen is, is really impressive. And clean passing shot there at the backhand. Dominic Schaefer in full attack mode here, and it is paying off. Electing, Six nothing. Electing goes straight at the body there, not even trying to get necessarily a passing shot. That was more of a through shot. Six, but uh, Dominic firing on all cylinders that engage pro paddle. about some of the men's singles up and comers. How about on the women's side in singles play? Who are the ladies that you've really got your eye on moving forward here in 2024? Ava Ignatovich continues to creep up, uh, continually kind of getting within the top 10 in terms of seeding, often getting a, a win or two under her belt in the main draw. I mean, I think Alex Strong's putting people on notice here, taking down Caitlin earlier today. Caitlin, one of the better athletes and one of the more elite tennis backgrounds we have here on the tour. So uh, those two ladies certainly earning to be top of mind for everyone as a, as main draws approach. Yakina finally on the board. Katerina doing a good job of following up that kind of long return by coming into the kitchen. I think she should be trying to do that a little bit more against Dominique here in game one. Three, seven. Point. Dominique going for a little too much on that forehand. Didn't need to kill it nearly as much, so she doesn't like the run.
Blast, <laughs> but props to Martina for that victory today. Oh, Schaefer. Winner right to the corner, and now an 8 4. That said, you know, I, all 12 teams, GM Denos would say it was a nerve wracking event last week, and uh, we're excited to be on the other side of it. Schaefer back to business, just continues. The pressure makes it 9 4. So you got Christian Olshon, you got Pablo Tejas, you got Etta Wright, and Tina Pisnik. We do, and not only are those players all very good in their own right right now with multiple formats, it's they have a lot of familiarity with each other, which is really exciting to us, especially, you know, in that team format. Pablo and Etta have played some mixed games and had some good results there. Christian and Etta are electing to play on the tour later this year in a few mixed events. So it's it's a really exciting kind of Tetris piece and, and puzzle that we've put together. 4-9 here, Biakina. Trying to salvage game one, make a run here. But Schaefer just continues to heat winner after winner. You came in looking a little bit stumped, always kind of tending to go to the sideline and look at the sideline and consult her bench after every point or rally that she's on the receiving end of. So I think she's a little un unsettled as to what to do with Dominique's strategy so far. And she may well elect to challenge this. And Ekaterina with no timeouts here. So it'll stay 9 4. Schaefer continues to serve. Dominique playing exceptionally well here in this first game. And now 10 4 game point. Once again, Dominic Schaefer just going to town 11-4, winning this first frame. The official ball of the PPA Tour. time um, but really really a fun dynamic kind of outcome for a lot of people and, and kind of coming up in Atlanta in June uh, we're gonna see how all these strategies play out from the draft so back to business here Schaefer and Biakina Schaefer controlling pretty much all the action in game number one. Trying to make this a clean sweep. And getting on the board first. Oh, another dandy from Dominique. Dominique's just in her groove right now uh, from either side of the court. And, uh, Yankina, I think, is doing a good job, and I think the right strategy is to move up in the net. Dominique doesn't seem to want to play from anywhere but the baseline, but um, Dominique's just a little bit too complete with the strokes here. If you were to say that this kind of looks a bit like a tennis match sometimes, is that a bad thing, or is that, you know, okay in terms of what a good strategy is to win. Let's watch this point. Schaefer again. Yeah, Drew, uh, certainly not a bad thing, but I think there's always a time and a place for kind of adopting the pickleball sure. specific shot or, or play pattern. You know, I think uh, there's so many great. From the world's most iconic tennis arenas to the glint of an Olympic gold medal, a new court beckons, a new challenge arises. Jack Sock has conquered tennis. Now, pickleball's next. Mastery, precision, passion, that's what champions are made of. And when it comes to pickleball, there's only one company they turn to.
Jack Sock's legacy continues with the number one brand in pickleball. Selkirk Sport. We are pickleball. And it's taking down some real names here today. Back here on Humana Championship Court, Dominic Schaefer ruling the day here so far. Scotty Katarina Biakina on the run. Five zero. And finally, the put away from Biakina, much needed side out. So Leah Jansen still alive in women's singles. Paris Todd also still alive. Two of the players we really highlighted that could benefit from Waters and Parento not being in Houston this week. For sure. And the winner of this match will go on to face that number two seed in Leah Jansen in the, in the quarterfinals. Oh, and it finds a spot. Dominic Schaefer looking very comfortable Six zero. here on Humana Championship Court. 6 0. Just wide. Dominic pointing at a different spot that she wanted to go down. Bianchina gets a little bit of away with a. a Kind of a drop volley that sat up quite a bit, a little bit fortunate there, but she'll take everything she gets right now at this six point deficit. Schaefer a little tied up that time. So Bekina finally on the scoreboard here in game two. So Donald Young winning that first game against Connor Garnett. And he leads by 1 5 4 in game two. We'll keep, keep you updated. Fun battle there at the net from both of these ladies. Dominique shaking her head. I think she probably wanted to end that point a little bit earlier, but comes away with the side out. Can't get to it this time. Yakina wins with the drop shot. One second. Good try with the cross court forehand there from Dominique, but that sails wide, so. Bikini's got the ball back on her paddle to try to get into game two here. Schaefer can't get to it, so all of a sudden momentum swinging just a bit back in favor of Biakina. Schaefer's lead cut in half here. She's needed a point though, Ryan. She has yeah. found a way to get it done. She sure has. <laughs> she sure has. So Dominique looking to extend this three point lead here and close out game two. Potentially face Leah Jansen. Serves like that will help her. Do that. Schaefer at one time playing for the Peru Fed Cup team on the tennis circuit. That stroke is smooth right now. Great shot. Her, her, her two hander is so compact. She gets low and really rotates through that. Generates a lot of power. Shout out to Peruvian pickleball players. My Good friend in, in Austin, uh, co-founder in the lab, is a, is born and raised in Peru, Carlos Delora. Him and Dominique would probably be playing for Team Peru <laughs> when, when it goes a little bit more global. 
So another point for Schaefer here. She is now closing in. It's 9-3. Two points away here from advancing. Oh, Schaefer, that one got away from her. <laughs> you mentioned the lab, though, specifically for folks that do not know. Talk about the lab in Austin, Texas. Yeah, it's a one-court championship-sized kind of training facility mm -hmm. focused on on both pros and amateurs, but it really has become a content factory for the pros that are making it their home every day to kind of get in the highest rec games in the world. And, um, you know, we're certainly focused on growing the game locally in Austin and helping host money balls and clinics and, and allowing the best amateurs in Austin on the, on, the, on the rise and the come up kind of enter the scene. And shout out to a few of the men's qualifier teams. There's a, I think there's three teams from Austin here who are gonna be in the main draw on Saturday morning on the men's side, but uh, yeah, it's been fun. I mean, there's certainly, it's certainly, uh, there's room for everybody to do facilities, training, clubs. Yeah, Kena, big time. On top of the kitchen, delivers once again, and trying to cut into this Dominic Schaefer lead. Great overhead forehand power there. Still plenty of work to do. Into the net that time. Schaefer's going to get side out. That was one of Dominique's kind of stronger dipping forehand drives that she's hit so far in this game. I think she actually generates a lot more power on her two-hander than her forehand, but that was a really right time, right place to bust it out. Oh, fire fight. Schaefer Such able to win it. Pickleball singles is really amazing when, you know, you can get from ground strokes all the way up. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. Training rigorously and pushing boundaries. The next level isn't just hand. It's earn. Go next level. 6-0 pickleball. In a bit of a hole here, but I do like the measured response for a timeout and some deep breaths to give her the best fighting chance she has. Dominique has just kind of rolled through these first two games. So, still some life in Biakina. Timeout is effective. They say it's one of the most effective weapons in pickleball. Let's see if it can pay off here. Still in it. Match point. Side out for Schaefer and another match point. Oh, football oh, called. Oh. Dominique just absolutely cruising through this match. Everything seemed to be working out there. What were you telling yourself throughout this match? Um, I was just trying to play my game. You know, I obviously like to hit it aggressive and, you know, go for my passing shots, and they were working today. I know it was windy, so when I went on the other side, I tried to, like, hit a little bit more spin rather than this side was a little bit more aggressive. Well, you have an impassiveness that's really easy to spot out there. You really keep your face, you know, close, no motion. I kind of, like, think of you as ice queen out there. Is that conscious and purposeful, and, and what is the meaning behind it, or what are you doing out there? Um, well, I try to not get really angry at myself, because sometimes I do have moments where I just get really upset, and I think it works better when I don't, I'm emotionless, and, you know, I've been trying to work on that. Well, we know you come from tennis, but we want to know more. What led you to decide to go full pro pickleball? Um, I was kind of like, this is a good opportunity, and a bunch of my friends were playing, and um, I don't know, I just felt like a lot of more tennis players were getting involved, and I don't know, I was like, this is fun, and why not go all out? 